This is the Animal Crossing equivalent of you ugly anyways after being rejected. Really? You're saying the island is dirty? I honestly haven't played much of Animal Crossing myself. I honestly have more first person shooter game myself. So, I, I, is this effective or I feel like this is just like a sucker punch on the way out. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the most of internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, turn on another video after this one. You might find something you really like. So, this is what Asian ladies like. <laughs> nice, good-looking bodies. Oh, they don't care about how faithful, loyalty, honest, how good the person is. Well, then, I hope he's cheating on you with three other girls, and one of them his wife with three kids. I'm so sick and tired of all of you Asian girls snobbing the white guys, but going after the black guys. I hope you get STDs, and no, I am not racist, because I would go out with a black girl in a heartbeat if they willing. So, F and snobby to white men too. Yeah, way to go just, uh, you know, shoehorning that thing in there of like, hey, I'm not racist, by the way, I have a black friend. And nice guys, finish last is true. I drove at least 14 girls home this weekend, and I have not even gotten a thank you from any of them, despite knowing some of them personally. Seriously considering not being a nice guy anymore, it's cause you're doing the same thing as Uber, you Dip. Giving somebody a ride home does not need to be a transactionary thing outside of Uber. It's just a nice thing to do in case somebody has trouble getting home. Funny as heck, I see your face again, and I rethink everything I'm doing right now. Like, blank, you effed up my trust so bad that I can't even be myself without thinking the person I'm talking to is fake as frick. A little bird was telling me that uh, you and blank both split. I kinda expected that. It's okay though, cause you are cute and you know it. So, it's just as easy as erasing pencil marks on paper for you. And if you aren't the heartless bee I see you as now, then that's okay too. Uh, here's some advice. Pain's a blessing in disguise. Much like how you ditched my butt, the pain you inflicted was a blessing in disguise, cause I found out through you that I can't trust anyone. This dude really put it out there on his social media like an Instagram story thinking this was gonna get somewhere. Congratulations, you just amplified the amount of douchiness you already got. I didn't know this group was supervised by a priest and a nun. From my experience, girls like you are just more interesting to look at, so it's a constant turn on. The other thing is that having been challenged in life about your looks makes people more passionate and active during blank, which is a major turn on. I would choose you over a supermodel every day. I don't know, man. Being called interesting to look at and saying that you'd choose me over a supermodel feels like a backhanded compliment, and you're insinuating that because I'm ugly or unconventionally attractive that I'm more eager to please in bed? I'm sorry that your insecurity gets you to interpret things this way. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think that whole insecurity card is gonna get anything to work in your favor, my dude. Hey, Blank, in my experience, above average beautiful women on Tinder are either relationship incapable due to toxic men, have a horrible character, or simply use too many filters. So, what do I have to look out for? The inevitability of the conversation going nowhere, dingus. Am I a nice person? Yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I just got rejected uh, for being too nice. Can you believe that? She doesn't want someone to be nice to her. She likes antagonists. Uh, people who treat her like blank. Amazing. Huh. Something tells me that's wrong. Apparently not. Because it isn't the first time. Uh, sorry to bother you. Just thought you would get a laugh about it. 
you are not bothering. Do they tell you that you're too nice? Like, is that exactly what they say? Oh, you can bet people would be putting their life savings on doubt. They said I wouldn't date you. You're too nice to me. I don't like nice people. I know they like me, but I don't like them back. My ex was a butt, and I still love him. So I know there's no way we would work out. She just called me and told me that. Oh, dang. That sucks, man. It is what it is, I guess. So, to just scratch a blank itch that you've had for a while, uh, it sounds like you just want S from me, dude. It's uh, more than just an itch. You're also on my bucket list. Okay, um, quick question. What is it written as on your bucket list? Have an experience with an incredibly beautiful woman. A 9 out of 10. I seriously will consider dating you if you do this, and not just because you're doing me a favor, but also because if you did this, it would show me you care. I am fairly certain there are different ways you can show somebody that you care that don't exactly have to involve putting the dangling into the vagoo. Hmm, I see. Well, maybe uh, we could get some boba sometime then, eh? And I'm flattered that you think I'm beautiful. The full primal experience? You about to go monkey mode or something if we were to F or something? I wouldn't say monkey, but yeah, hard, fast, and uh, long. Ah, well, I haven't heard that one before. Well, it doesn't matter since you don't want to. Literally, all I had to do was drive over to your place and boom. But you don't have time for that, apparently. I mean, yeah, I gotta live, so whatever, and I don't like late last notices, things unless you're a close friend or a partner, so... Can we fool around again? Mentally and emotionally, I can't really handle that emotional toll unless you actually plan on dating me or have the consideration of dating me, but... Why do you keep coming to me, though? I'm sure you got other options, to be honest. I would consider it. I see, but yeah, why do you keep coming to me specifically? You're the most attractive, and something I've always wanted to try. I really need this. I will consider a relationship, and consider this a very personal favor if you're a grand man this request. My IQ is 156, so I'm brighter than you. Addiction systems show from substance abuse, and not blank dumb butt. You're blanking annoying as S. You don't know S and act like you do. Have you ever been to college? Do you have a degree? No. So STFU, you don't know blank about human behavior or what it's like to be male. So stop acting like an entitled know-it-all POS. I'm older than you and smarter than you will ever be. Learn something and stop running your mouth. Dude, the person ain't even respond to you. You're the only one going on the little pissy rant here. You sure you didn't get your IQ test result mixed up with somebody else's? Because you would honestly think with somebody with a high IQ such as yourself being a 156, you would know when to stop. And I guess if you're flexing the whole I went to college, I got a degree kind of thing, I guess there wasn't a single bit of class about common sense. Hey, uh, what's up? What happened to you? Hello, well, uh, what do you mean? I mean, I thought we were having a conversation, getting to know each other, and uh, you just stopped replying. <laughs> Lol. See? That's what I mean. You did it again. But I guess you're like a troll account or something, because you clearly don't have any intentions on making an actual connection. That's very 23-year-old-ish of you, but uh, whatever. Blessings to you. I don't have notifications turned on for this app because the time I spent on this app is very minimal. And um, for myself, I barely ever use it, but Tinder still sends me those notifications that basically just say, hey, spend money on us. Sorry, I mean, there's nothing wrong with finding relationships slash connections on this app, and frankly, I'll be really happy if I found someone here. Stop it already. Sound lame as F. LMAO, like I said, very 23-year-old-ish of you, <laughs> lol. Um, 
Thanks, I guess? Just trying to diss me for wanting to see if I can make a connection with another human on a dating app? So lame, lol. What? That's what I'm trying. Just young, lol. You're going to be my age in a few years and realize how much of a dumb butt you sound like. And you're going on r slash nice guys. <laughs> well, sure, you do know age is the only one thing you didn't earn it yourself, right? 23 to 30 isn't much of a difference, kid. You better wake up and smell the coffee. You're not getting any younger, and you're gonna be stuck settling on some weird guy because you passed up on all the good ones in your youth. <laughs> LMAO. So, don't you think using that to degrade someone is a little, I don't know, weak? Lame? Because you're clearly too cool for school right now and think dating apps are beneath you, but yet you have an account? You have no idea who I am and you just ested on an opportunity to make a connection with me. Wow, dude, I can tell your feelings is really hurt. That's crazy, lol. Yeah, you're 23 going on 17. LMAO. I hope that when I'm 30, I will be more sure of myself than you. Not in my feelings at all. I'm a writer for a living. I get paid big checks to write, and this is what I do. Don't overthink it. Good for you. And now you're proving my point about the ego high. And now she wants me to be hard, because this will make her ego feel better again. Like she really thinks she's curving a guy. I mean, it do kind of look like you're getting rejected. You know, a uh, third, fourth, 17th time, I, it just keeps on going on. I don't think you're gonna get much anywhere, my dude, so you might as well quit while you're already under the ground so far. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, check out another video or two that'd be darn swell. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.